Hi, I'm Stefan Neiman. I'm a corporate trainer with CC Jensen and also a Noria partner. So today I'm going to talk about oil filters on wind turbines. CC Jensen has more than 65 years of experience within different uh, segments and will work in industry, marine, mining, power and of course wind. The products are available in more than 40 countries, so you will also find a representative near you. We have CTC filters on more than 120,000 wind turbines worldwide, uh, and we work with all the major OEMs, so Siemens Gamesa, Vestas, GE, and you name them. CC Jensen is a CO2 neutral company. That means that we're not producing uh, excess of CO2 uh, and we're using sustainable uh, resources for our filters. So no chemicals, no plastic, no metals. So it's only the CTC filters that are as natural as the energy your wind turbines are producing. So when you use a CTC filter on the turbines, the benefits will be that you optimize the power output and the um, increased profit. You will also reduce the uh, loss production factor. You will be prolonging the life of the component and the oil itself and uh, reduce any expensive uh, repair. So we work with gearbox filtration, we work with pitch and uh, the uh, main bearings if they're oil lubricated. So the gearbox is of course the heart of the wind turbine. There's huge forces involved here. Uh, the challenge is that when the oil film thickness is so thin and you have contamination in there, you will uh, have very expensive downtime and you may even risk uh, getting fines because you cannot produce electricity. Uh, also, the oil will uh, last shorter when it's contaminated, so you have to change the oil prematurely. The benefits of having a CTC filter on the wind turbine gearbox is that you have the filter with the largest dirt holding capacity, so it's designed for the normal service intervals. So you don't need to change the filter inserts on timely. And also when reducing both particles, water and oxidation or varnish, it means the components will last longer and the oil itself. So you will be reducing the maintenance cost and the uh, reduce the amount of unplanned stops. Well, some turbines don't have a gearbox. Uh, if they're direct drive, but they also have oil in a pitch system. So the pitch is also very, very important. The challenge is again, if the oil is contaminated here and you have high pressure in the components, you will have maybe the erratic or malfunction of the hydraulic components, the valves and so on, and maybe even leakages from the hydraulic cylinders and very short oil life if the oil is contaminated. So by putting on a CTC filter, you're having uh, the varnish out, the particles, the water from the system. And that means that you will have a system that operates as it should do and longer component life and oil. So the filter we're using is, uh, for example, this one, the key filter. You can see the lid can pop up. So it's very simple to install uh, and uh, change filter inserts. Um, it's designed for air contaminated oil, so designed for, for wind. Uh, and of course, you'll be removing both particles, water and varnish from the oil. If you want to monitor uh, the oil itself, we have different solutions. So you can either have the hardware sitting directly onto the filter like here. So a particle um, um, contamination unit here. So looking at particle counts and you have a moisture transmitter. Or you can use the CMU, that is a, a more advanced solution where you have, again, a particle counter, moisture transmitter. You can also have an oxidation or varnish trend sensor, wear debris sensor, uh, pressure in and out, and uh, external sensors like the wind turbine on and off or load. So the software that, that works with the data, either you can use your own SCADA system like for example for this one, uh, or you can use our cloud-based solution that requires an internet connection. So it could be cellular or Wi-Fi, not so typical on wind turbines, but more Modbus or CAN bus cable. So the data that uh, you get, you can either, like I said, analyze yourself, or you can let us do it with the Trender solution. This is, for example, the Trender Basic. This is an uh, uh, 
online monitoring um, cloud-based solution where we have hard limits. So if you exceed a certain limit, for example, an ISO code 161411, you get a warning. You can also get a more advanced solution where you're working with machine learning and our mathematical models that will adapt it to the individual system. That means that the warnings are coming if the trend deviates from the normal operation patterns. So for example, if the um, uh, cleanliness uh, increases, so you have more particle counts, but the load of the turbines is not. By the way, do you know the difference between a pleated inline type filter and a depth media? The depth media, the cellulose filters we are using here have a very, very large surface area. The internal surface area of these uh, fibers is 120 square meters uh, per gram up to 150 square meters per gram. That means that an insert like this will have an uh, equal amount of surface area as 60 football fields. Now that is crazy, but it means that you will be distributing the oil in an optimal way for filtration of particles, water and varnish. The inline filters here are of course also important. Uh, they have lower pressure loss, but they have also a lower dirt hole capacity. I want to share a case with you. Um, we have different clients and one of our clients had some Nordex N90 wind turbines, uh, five of them, and they had big issues with the uh, contamination of the oil in the gearbox. So the um, oil was contaminated with particles and varnish uh, and they needed to change the oil. Now, instead of doing that, they installed this filter here, so a, a fine filter 27 series, um, and the oil cleanliness was taking from, if you look at four micron particles, going from uh, in the 20s down to 15, so an ISO 15, 13, 11. Now that means you are reducing the particle count by 97%. And again, you don't need to change your oil, so the, you could save 2,500 euros per wind turbine, and again, get longer life of the components. If you want to change the inserts, uh, in the CTC filters in a faster, safer and uh, better way without any oil waste, you can use this filter insert change kit. Uh, now this is pumping the oil directly from the housing into this uh, container. Then you change the insert and when you're done replacing the insert, you pump the oil back in so you don't waste a drop of oil. So a very safe and easy way to do it. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Stefan Nyman. So go visit cdc.dk and find more information or find a sales rep you can talk to. Thank you.